Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of representing linear proportional relationships. This is standard 8.5a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 39 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Jerry paid $2.52 for six oranges, and each orange costs the same amount. All right, so this is gonna be very, very important for us. This lets us know that we've got equal groups, and we need to find a function here to be the total cost in C dollars for the purchasing of N oranges. All right, so it seems pretty simple, and now we've got C and N. Uh, that are just coming out of nowhere. So let's see what we could use here because there is something on our reference material that is appropriate. And it's going to be this right up at the very top. We're going to see this direct variation. See a linear equation there, y equals kx. Okay, so let's use that and I'll explain why that's going to be useful for us. y equals kx. Okay, this is called direct variation. So, I mean, it's pretty simple, right? We've got $2.52, six oranges that each cost the same amount. So let's get the calculator out. Let's just figure that out, okay? So we've got six oranges. We got the total of 252 right, how much per, we're just going to divide that, since they're equal groups. Let's do 252 divided by 6, okay, so 42 cents. So if I want to, I could put a little 42 cents for each of these, that seems reasonable. Now, how does that help us with this direct variation? Well, what we have with the direct variation is we've got a y and an x, and we're used to the y and the x, right, this is going to be our independent variable. All right, we start with our independent variable. It gets modified somehow by the k, and then we get our dependent variable. This is usually what we're solving for. And in this case, it's going to be the y. So the only thing that really does anything to change the x is that k. And when we are dealing with equal groups here in direct variation, this k is called our constant of proportionality. It's got a pretty long name. I'll put it over here. Sometimes we just kind of abbreviate that by saying it's our constant. So how do we affect the x? Well, what we do here is we say, you know what, we had $2.52, okay? There were six oranges. Now, what did we multiply each of those oranges by in order to get the total cost? Well, we multiplied it by our total cost, which we just figured out was $0.42. How do we figure out that 0 0.42? Well, what we did was we just divided both sides by 6, right? So that 0 0.42 is the 252 divided by 6. This is our constant of proportionality. That means that's the unit cost. So once we find out that unit cost, then we can, that's really the only thing we need. We can plug that back into this particular equation right here. And you can do it for any number of y's and x's. y equals my unit cost is 0.42x. So if I bought 10 oranges, I can find the cost. If I bought 30 oranges, I could buy the cost. I could plug in any number of x's and find the corresponding y. The only difference here is they're replacing the x and the y with different, with different letters here. This n is the number of oranges. Well, I've been using that as x. Really, we can just substitute in that, that independent variable for n, and then c, I've been using y instead, but we could use that, and so that is our answer. Our answer is a.